I see the signs of the judgment. I see the signs of God's judgment. Time is winding down. It's getting late in the evening. And as you can see, the sun has gone down. But I stopped by here on this Friday night to declare and decree God's word. As I sat over there enamored about my fellow co-laborers sharing the truths of God's word, speaking the oracles of God, I immediately began to think about our text. The King James Version says, Woe to them that are at ease in Zion and trust in the mountains of Samaria. Then IV says, Woe to you who are complacent in Zion and to you who feel secure on the Mount of Samaria. Mm. After I heard that and read God's word, I said, Lord, what is it that you would have me to share with your people? God then said, I want you to give them one word. And the Lord said, tell them deja vu. I sat there and said, God, what do you want me to do? I know you don't want me to talk about no movie. I know you don't want me to talk about Denzel Washington. He said, no, brother preacher, I want you to talk about Amos. I said, well, talk to me, Lord. And so I begin to look up the word deja vu. This word is French in its origin. And the definition of deja vu is simply put, it's already been seen. Mm, it's going to make some sense in a few minutes. It's already been seen. It's already been accepted in some schools of thought. The deja vu is an act of prophecy. So in our text, we find this great prophet, Amos, giving a divine word to a corrupt people. God began to speak to the children of Israel. Well, we find this prophet in our text, this young, regular old man from the city of Tekoa, that roundabout region of Tekoa. It's about 20 kilometers, 10 miles on the outside the county lines of Jerusalem. Here we find this prophet beginning to decree and say, God has had enough with the foolishness in this city. God has had enough with all this going on. As I thought about the word deja vu, that's when I saw what God was trying to say. God has said this we've seen before. Nation of the United States of America, I'm here to stand before you that God is saying enough is enough. Here we see it playing all over again. As I looked at the life of Amos, I thought of my leader, Dr. Wooden, a man from Rockingham, a just little old simple place. But God raised him up for such a time as this. Here we find old Amos going to the northern kingdom. He's going up north. It sounds familiar to me. My pastor started going north. Pastor Wooden, a month ago, called out the leader of our nation. He called out the president and he said in D.C., God is not pleased with the behavior of our leader. God has told me to tell you that in the midst of sin in this last day, we see it at an all-time high. We send sin running amok, but God is not slack concerning his promise. 
deja vu. We're seeing it played all over again. But deja vu doesn't only apply to the evil or to God's judgment. But deja vu applies to God's deliverance. As we see in the book of Amos, God after looking at posing judgment, he then said, I want you to know in the same place of Samaria, I'm going to deliver you in Samaria. I'm going to bring you out. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Well, just like Shiloh is God's designated place for blessing in Samaria. God wants to bless the saints according to 2 Kings 6 and 20. When you're surrounded by your enemies and they're all around, Elisha said, and ask Yahweh to open up their eyes. God will open up your eyes and let you know that they that be with us are more than they that be with them. God did it back then. God will do it right now in the midst of famine hardship on the way you need to know that Yahweh by this time tomorrow is going to open up doors open up blessings I'm here to encourage you that come what may God will restore unto us God will deliver us in the time of judgment this is a good time for the believer this is the time of praise give God some praise in this place contrary to what you've heard contrary to what you know he is a deliverer he's gonna pick us up and set us on a rock to stay say yes 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 give God some glory give God some praise if you believe he can in the midst of judgment in the midst of sin you'll see God move the hand of God on the behalf of the believers I am excited to give this message I am excited to say woe unto you nation I want you to know give God some praise give God some praise 